السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسفل دا موسٹ کائن ہیلو اگین اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ا برانڈ نیو شو اؤٹ اف فوکس ویل وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈفرنٹ ایشوز اینڈ ڈفرنٹ پرابلمز ٹو ڈو وتھ ا سوسائٹی اینڈ دا یوف ٹوڈے آئی ایم ویری ایکسائٹڈ ٹو بی ہیئر آئی ایم شور اور ٹو گیسٹ آر ویری ایکسائٹڈ ٹو بی ہیئر ایز ویل یا وی آر And out of focus is just a topic about Islam where we talk about different issues and problems and the things, general advice we should um, do and give to, to um, teenagers today that are struggling with um, their duties towards Islam and just generally being a Muslim. And we address certain topics that are very important to be discussed and are not discussed that often. That's why... Out of Focus is a show where we bring the youth's voice alive. So, today's topic is extremely important. It's a topic where it relates to basically everyone, isn't it? Yeah. So today our topic's name is Behaviour Towards Our Parents. Now, this is a topic where a lot of teenagers today don't realise it but they tend to um not realize when their behavior um their behavior towards their parents whether it's a uh, appropriate way to behaving um to be behaving towards your parents or whether it's not appropriate today teenagers don't realize that so let's introduce our two guests hello what is your name um my name is yeah you've obviously already met you but <laughs> obviously some of the audience won't know isn't it yeah. so um How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. That's good. <laughs> What about you? What's your name? <laughs> Hello, my name is Shamila and yeah, I'm excited to be here today. And we've, we've been on here in the previous yeah. shows as well. But so yeah. this is for the audience that don't know her, Shamila and Nabila. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we had other different guests last previous episodes. Today, Nabila and Shamila are going to be joining us. And yeah. we are going to talk about our behavior towards parents. And this is like a really important, um, significant yeah, um, like issue to d- address, isn't it? Because most children these days, they're not really, what, what's the word like? They, they don't know. They don't behave yeah. as well to their parents. They don't yeah. respect they don't, parents uh, as much as they really should be because yeah. obviously being Muslim and being It's our age, we have to. Basically, obviously, being Muslim and being our age, we have to respect our elders and, you know, show them with, like... Yeah, it's one of our yeah. duties to respect your parents. It's literally a duty to respect your mum and to respect your dad. Yeah, like, when you talk to them, say, As-salamu alaykum, and, you know... Speak nicely, with yeah. a good tone. Never, like, obviously, yeah. um, obviously, because your parents are, like, the ones who've always you know look up, looked after you took care of you your mom carried her in her womb for nine months and during that time she couldn't eat properly she couldn't sleep properly and when you were born she'd only ever sleep off like when you were sleeping she'd only ever eat after you had eaten like exactly it, she it was always sacrificed that, everything you know, she sacrificed herself she sacrificed her um enjoyment her free time for you because that's how much she loved you and i think that's why you should always kind of like be grateful for what everything that she did and in the quran it says like speak to your parents in a soft voice like in a kind voice yeah like don't give them attitude because you know a lot of kids like you know even if they don't say anything rude like even saying something like what like they go like what like i find that really kind of you know this is respectful. yes it, like wrong. it's not obviously you don't mean that as disrespectful but then like your tone of voice and your attitude towards saying some things it is like it really matters because That's what shows your true that, yeah. emotions and, you know. So and they I get hurt by it, even yeah. though you don't know it. Your parents do get hurt. Because they have feelings too, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Imagine how you'd feel if your future daughter or son um, spoke it, to you in yeah. that way. Because, like, obviously they spent so much of the time to raise you, take care of you. And they're obviously, like, even if you don't realise it now, they, pro- they love you more than anything in the world. Like, it's always you that comes first before them. Like, I, th- I'm sure they take a bullet for you. So, like, you'd o- you always just have to respect them and just be yeah. kind to them because I know you might not realise it now, but they actually do really love you 
and yeah, yeah. and it's just like and it's just manners to like you know it's, it's literally just morals isn't it you, uh -huh. you should know your morals you should know it's basically but common it's sense you should know to respect your mom there's a saying and your what is it um heaven's at your mother's feet yeah. no, like um the gate of heaven is beneath your mother's feet and yeah it kind of it kind of ring, like shows to you shows like, how a message. important it is how important your parents are because like you know the way you respect your respect your pet like if you respect your mom that's that's your gain to heaven doesn't matter how good you are how amazing you are how religious you are if you disrespect your parents like the Shame gate of you. heaven is closed for you yeah. because it's beneath your mother's feet and it's kind of just like it's, it shouldn't even be something that you know we should make a massive lecture about and i can okay and because oh, i understand that obviously parents lecture you they um, get they sometimes on your shout nerves. at you, yeah. They, they get on your nerves sometimes. Shout at you, they get get on your nerves, and they might not allow you to do certain things. But always think, think about it. Like kind of step out of the situation. No matter how angry you are, literally just step out of the situation. Pretend like this. Pretend like you could just see everything in front of you and really think about like, the bigger picture. Like yeah, think about the bigger picture, and I promise to you, like a hundred percent, you will realize everything that your parents are doing everything Same. that your parents are saying to you it's for your own good because they love you and they want the best for you because they know what's best for you because you're their children you know they've raised you for however long it may be you know 18 years 13 years 10 years whatever like they they've seen you grow they know what's good for you they know what's bad for you even though you might think oh they're just you know saying it they're, they're never ever ever gonna say anything to negatively for the sake of you, it. yeah for the sake yeah. of you know obviously maybe you think it's negative but it's actually for your own benefit yeah it's actually because for your own good basically yeah so another quote that uh, i've been coming across is never raise your voice to your mum or your dad it's because they taught you how to speak yeah yeah it's true isn't it like they taught you everything there is to know like, there is to know like, isn't it that most things basically because to how to talk how to eat how to dress walk, how, how to, to everything and then Your that immense effort it just it takes it's 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 it's, it's not you just don't do like it's not easy to be a parent it's really hard because obviously so like, much you might not realize yeah <laughs> so much because obviously you might not realize it now but then when you're older you probably you're probably gonna have children yourself and yeah, you're gonna realize we'll yeah. become parents ourselves and then um you Obviously. definitely wouldn't want your children to be like think about it the way that you're talking to your parents imagine if your children are talking to like you like that you, um like if if, 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 it's not, if it's if you wouldn't want your children to talk to you like that then don't, don't talk. talk to your parents yeah like cause, that, because um, yeah know. um there is a saying in the quran where it says um, if you disrespect your parents now and treat them extremely badly then w uh, when your p uh, kids grow up they're gonna talk to you in the exact same way. Shall I tell you a story about this um, father and his little boy? Yeah, sure. Right, so Go basically, on. yeah, there's this father and this little boy, and then they were, they were outside in the park or something, and then they saw um, a bird, he, the, the little boy saw a bird, and that boy goes, oh, father, I saw a bird. It doesn't look so amazing. He said it, yeah, and then my, um, and he goes, what is that bird and stuff in the sky? And the dad goes, oh, um, uh, the name of the bird? And that little boy asked the question more than 50 times. The dad replied the same answer really nicely and sweetly. Oh, uh, my little darling, um, it's, a, it's a, the, the, the name of the bird. And then when that boy, little boy, grew up to be like a um, teenager, like 17, 16, the father, when he became old, he he asked, "Oh, son, what is that in the sky?" And then the the uh, the son replies so rudely, with a uh, disrespectfully, with a really really disgusting tone to his father. Um, it's a bird. Can you see that? B is a. Shall I spell it out for you? B I R D. And then the dad got his diary, and he and he came show, He showed it to his son, and the and and the son goes. And son reads it, and then basically in the diary it said, "Oh my son, um, today my son asked me, oh more than fifty times, what is that on the tree?" And I replied, "It's a bird." And he's like, just to see 
um the DK. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I think so basically, um the father when this little boy asked the father what the what the thing on the tree was, even though he repeatedly asked more than fifty times, the he father still said still, it in a nice, yeah, in a very like, nice tone, and he said to his little son, "It's a bird, son." But then, when the time came, when the father asked the son why it was, the f boy was very rude about it, and she was, he was just like, "Can't you see what it is? Are you blind? It's a bird." Yeah, you know, yeah. Very rude yeah. And so it's like so it's just like there's a meaning behind it, isn't it? It's yeah. like. Um, so just like yeah. yeah, your parents nourished you, took care of you, brought you up, you have protected to, you yeah. from everything. They taught and you what they're the people that you're treating like your enemies, basically. Yeah. Did you hear that's about that? Um, the other story where the when I was one, my mom did my, my mom did this for me. When I was two, my mom did this for me. No, I don't. What was that? It's like it's like it's like a poem kind of thing, and then uh. basically at 29, uh, my mom did this for me, but I did this. And then all the things basically the mum did for her, and then she treated her mum really badly. And then when the mum uh, died, that's when she realised what she never done and what she did came crashing down. Yeah, on her. that's like a really yeah. huge thing because obviously your parents are there for now, and like they're obviously not gonna lo like yeah, stay they're there not gonna forever. stay there for the time is here is very short. Exactly, your life, their life is really short, your life is really short and if you disrespect them now and you just like treat them really bad, like even like little You're things... You're going to regret it when you're yeah, older. If like when they pass, like you know like pass away or like when they're gone, you're going to realise all the stuff and you're going to regret it so much because when you're older you get to realise more and like you realise like a lot of like your surroundings and you're going to realise like everything that you did wrong when you were younger yeah. and yeah. Just like so you might as well just do it now before mm -hmm. ending up regretting it isn't it this is actually life changing isn't it for you and like if, if anything like one thing i've learned in my entire life is your friends like okay. your yeah. um okay your friends are gonna tell you what you want to hear your real friends like the people who genuinely care about you your friends and your family they're gonna they're gonna be honest with you and they're gonna tell you what you don't want to hear and they're not always gonna you know the sugarcoat truth. everything they're not always going to, you know, tell you everything you want to. They're going to tell you what's best for you. They're going to give you real advice. They're going to give you good advice. And it's because they care about you. Like, mm. your friends aren't going to... They're just going to say what you want to hear because of, they want you to like them. They're not, they don't really care about... They don't yeah. care about you. They don't care about... They literally, yeah, yeah. Like, so true. People who care about you, they're gonna be honest with you, and, and that's basically yeah, think, mainly your think, parents yeah, and like about proper it. close friends. Your parents might be like pissing you off now, but like it doesn't mean that they're saying it for you, like in order to you know annoy you. They're saying it because they want the best for you. They, they want, want you to yeah. improve, basically. So yeah. we just have to please, 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 just try show some respect <laughs> and and know that they're higher than us yeah. they're more clever the more knowledgeable yeah the that's more like the one also thing like the growing trend like in the uk now like and it's really really common putting your parents into a care home when they're like yeah like oh. 50 when they're when in they're the retired. old care yeah. home thing that's the thing that doesn't though, make it? sense to me is they took care of you for the 50 years that they weren't in a care home and as soon as they get old and they're unable they to need, take care of themselves to, yeah. and they need your help, you don't care and you <coughs> put them in a care home. Exactly. It's like, if they could take care of you, why can you not take care of your parents? You have to you know? uh, say thank you to them, obviously. What, what was Be the point grateful. of them raising you then? Exactly. You have to have some uh, gratitude and uh, like a thank you. <laughs> By yeah. and by not just saying it, by actually doing it and 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 give, giving your words a bit of meaning, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. and you know, obviously uh, girls, obviously in our culture and stuff, we get married off. Yeah. But um, I think it's important for boys to stay um with the parents. Yes, yeah, not just girls. And even if you yeah, do yeah. get it's married off, like it doesn't mean you separate yeah, yeah, yourself yeah, 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 yeah. from separate yourself from your family. Like yeah, obviously your mother. If you get married yeah. to your um like. <laughs> You have a husband. It means that you just have a l slightly larger family now. You don't yeah. lose one family. Yeah. You just become one great big family. <laughs> you know, Cause, like one thing is like your parents know everything. Like it sounds trust me, yeah, they know everything. They, they'll trust. They like, will know. They will find everything. out anything you they do. They will find out. And you might think like, oh, like sh like you hate them because they they always like shout at you. They do this, but then they oh 
as we said, they're always doing it for your own good. And that's like one thing that like, they're more knowledgeable than you. They know more because yeah, they've lived you their think life. You might, uh, you, yeah. you might think you don't, you they don't know nothing, but they do. Because they've lived their life a lot longer than you have. They've been out there. Experiences. They've, they've experienced more than you have, and they're more like wise and they're more noble. So, and and you might think, oh, but you, mom, you're so. Mom and dad are so old, like you don't know anything, you know the trends, this and that. But then at the end of the day, they always know better than you do. Like they know a lot more than you do, even if they're they like might not know the trends, but they know what the actual like the reality. Of the it. reality mm. of everything is. Then you might go like, oh my gosh, my mom's such a sorry. Um, you might go like, oh my gosh, my mom's such a freshy. Like she's so bungalow, this and that. But then obviously it's because like. Yeah. Well, there's a reason so behind it. Yeah. Doesn't mean she's dumb or anything. Yeah, she's it? still like, I'm pretty sure she's a lot smarter than Indeed. like Just you right it. now. Just age. because she's fresh, she doesn't make her, you know, any different. Yeah, like uneducated, and obviously, I actually, you're gonna laugh. Obviously, at a lot this. of parents are. You're gonna Indeed. laugh at this, but I actually saw a picture on Instagram today. But the picture is what kind of like got to you. Yeah, struck me because. It's a picture of a 75-year-old woman, like, taking, still, like, taking care of, of um, her 50-year-old disabled son because Aww. he couldn't take care of himself. And it's just like... Oh, what were the words? Where, huh? What did they say? Um, it had, like, a little poem underneath. Um, I can't remember it exactly, but it was... I think I'll, I'll, I'll send you... Like a link oh, or something, that's but so sweet. It's so, like, that I was like, I slightly teared up of it because here there are like you know children putting their parents in like care homes at the age of fifty because they can't be asked to take care of them, and here this woman, seventy-five, like unable to take care of herself. Oh, she's seventy-five. Her entire really life old. for fifty years, she took care of her disabled oh son, my God, who's God. like fifty years old, like. Imagine how much effort, like exactly. I found fifty like, years. I love, love the, a little bit. It's I like love that, that your mother, parents have yeah. for you. Yeah. The love that's that your mum has for you. It's that like unconditional. Is so touching. Yeah, it's it is really very touching. emotional touching, isn't it? Like the love that your parents have for you is unconditional. I know. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you mess up. Mm. If you apologize like and you truly one. repent, if you truly repent. Allah is gonna forgive you, and, and your, your parents, parents are gonna forgive you. If, if you make your parents happy, Allah is happy with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's um there's also this thing right like um you might you know your friends like they might be there for you now, but then your family, your parents, they're always, they're always, be there always for yeah you. like you like, like if you wait so if yeah. you have like an argument with your parents, whatever you're gonna go like oh I'm gonna go live with my friends that like, forget you this and that, then like your friends they might take care of you for like two, three days, but then obviously they're going to go, like, get out of my house. Because obviously, like, they're just, like, they're your friends. They're not... Like, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't raise you. Yeah. Like, I don't know, you haven't known them for as long as yeah. you know your parents. And your parents, they're, they're always, like, no matter what happens, they might nothing, like, anything, you're always going to end street, up coming yeah. back to them. Like, at the end of the day, like, if, say, for instance, when you're, like, a lot older, not enough money, you're going to go back your parents to ask for stuff if you run away from the house like at the end of the day no matter how far you go you're always going to end up coming back to the house because at the end of the day it's them like that you need in your life yeah that's another thing like there's people are like there's so many kids nowadays oh, yeah, running uh, away because they think oh, you know yeah that's it's another like, issue i find that kind of like running away you know <laughs> you don't yeah, say any names but because we're not saying any names um, obviously but yeah but the thing is like I understand you might be so angry you need to you know le like you leave need a bit of time by yourself and leave the house for a while cool to calm down bit. come back but don't like I don't understand the point of like genuinely like you know running away from home because the thing is where are you gonna where are you gonna go who's gonna accept what's gonna like, happen to your life if you run away exactly. basically like uh, giving up your education and leaving your family 100% like you're either gonna get you know you, like hundred percent, you're gonna end up coming back home, no matter what the circumstance. Like, you're either like your friends then, might accept you in yeah, for exactly, a while, but yeah. and and the thing the is, when you come, day, back you're home, come back home, you can't even look at your mother in the eye. You 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 don't yeah. destroy. You feel she, your yeah, you just destroy the relationship. No matter, what, over, no matter what might have caused you to run away, that like the aftermath of that wouldn't wouldn't have compared at all to the aftermath of you running away from home because. By doing that, you just Lost kind of like all, all destroyed, destroyed like the 
basic establishments of like you know trust and like your love and your communication with your parents because you know you, you decided no I can't have this anymore yeah like one really 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 important thing is like you need to have a good relationship with your parents like I know it might be like oh my gosh I don't want to hang out with them but then you should because like just you should like yeah hang out with yeah, them yeah just like talk to them yeah communication is really important mm -hmm. just talk to them like tell them about everything like m me and my sister are, like we're really close to our parents like I tell my mom like everything that happens in my life and yeah she's like really understanding of it like obviously even she knows that I mess up in my life sometimes but well, then I always Perfect. like change myself for the better and she like criticizes me about it but then it's for me to change myself it's for yeah. us yeah. to ourselves as yeah. I found that really cute though because remember your mom was ill and then you took care of her <laughs> and you gave her so yeah it's so cute you cleaned up the house and you gave her like tea and stuff <laughs> I was telling my mom, oh, so cute. She didn't oh. do anything. What? <laughs> no, I took care of my mom. So yeah, it's important. What did you do? I made food. She was for no, her. she was no, she was eating food in the other room. <laughs> I made the food for her. <laughs> you made the food. Yeah, I made the food, oh, and she was eating. And your mom got better in one day, innit? it. Mm. Oh, see, yeah. it's really important. See how um, you should learn from yeah, these that's two. Like one that really big yeah. thing, like when your parents are ill or the time of need, because you never know. Like this life is really short, and um. You never know what might you happen. Might like, they might, so yeah, you might not be living tomorrow. To, you know, make don't a change and yeah, do don't something. Wait do it now. For something to instead happen. of doing it, or do, or make or it do it next week or do it. Yeah, yeah like don't wait I for always do that with my diet. Don't oh my god. You yeah. <laughs> don't wait for something to happen. Like, make it happen. Yeah. It's the same with praying or anything, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, the namaz later. No, you have to do it now. In Islam, you have to do it now. Yeah. Like, one of the most important things is having a good relationship with your parents Mom, and your family. Yeah, your dad. Yeah. Because they're obviously like the main, main people in your life. Like They're the only people you they probably, should. Yeah, like, there shouldn't be anyone else more closer to you than your parents are. And Allah, obviously. Yeah, obviously and Allah. Allah is yeah. your main and then it's your mum. Your dad. Mm. And then your dad after your mom is free time. Yeah, your, your mom free time. Yeah, your dad. Now obviously everyone knows that Prophet Muhammad tell a long story when the man asks him, um, who's more, who's the most Ooh. important. So, yeah. so um, oh, some important. recent news that happened with that girl. What was her name? Um. Ali Zara. Basically, she was how old was she? I think six or something, isn't it? Yeah, six oh. years old. Yeah, she, yeah, she passed it. Yeah, she passed away yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, she passed away at six six twenty six p.m. something like that. She yeah. passed away yeah. yesterday. It's so sad because she the mom loved her so much. She did her. everything for her little kid. It's, it's on Instagram. You can yeah. see it. it everyone's posting. Story, yeah, story. everyone's posting about um, it. So basically, this girl, yeah, no, she got uh, like the disease called. She had a. No, she had it's cancer. not a disease. She had cancer. She had cancer. She lost her battle with cancer. I think it was yeah. leukemia. She yeah, no, yeah, that, that, that. She yeah. lost her battle with leukemia. Um, she was six years old and she was, she, um, it was so it was amazing. so it hit up a little emotional, bit. literally. Um, she, just, yeah, yeah, what? She was, like, she was, like, extremely enthusiastic about, like, um, makeup. And makeup, yeah, she's a makeup artist. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she it's was really a makeup cute, artist. And her mom did everything for her to, yeah, you know, realise her dream and realise, um, what she wanted to do and obviously yeah. that's for her mum. And that's it. like really sad because okay. obviously yeah. the mum so loved yeah. the daughter. She used to tell her She used to tell her parents um She used yeah. to tell her um, um her mum that what she wanted to do was make up but then the mum um used to like to tell like papa paragraphs about how much he loved her uh, um she loved her daughter it's so sad it's literally so, so, so it's it so uh, inshallah allah will pray grant her, her to pray, heaven pray yeah. please please pray for her yeah she is probably you'll find her on, on instagram if you're on instagram. she was so beautiful yeah so. she's she's such a nice personality as always you know, the mm -hmm. videos she's just like it's, it's so okay. sad like the innocent people have cancer so um that is it for today this is a very sensitive, um, important, significant topic that um, we discussed this today. I hope you learned some f um, something from it. I hope you take on what we said and you live, um, keep it in your back of your mind and live the way um, um, as a good, good Muslim, inshallah. So thank you so much, Nabila, for coming to our our show. Thank you so much, um, Shamila. You're very welcome. I really enjoyed yeah. being here talking about I really this. appreciate your um, important... Um, 
messages about mm. treating your parents right. Mm. So, thank you so much for watching as well. Um, out of focus. See you next time. Make sure you are tuning in next time to watch more Out of Focus, where we're, we we'll talk about more, much more topics like um, health, isn't it, and um, marriages, and more, uh, more behaviour towards family and stuff. So, see you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.